from jumping rope to heavy bag, most fighters use similar training techniques. Yet Tyson's camp has developed a few tricks of its own. Well, the purpose of the slip bag is to get the fighter moving his head, to get him in the habit of moving his head correctly. You have to try to be elusive. See, as long as the fighter's trying to be elusive, he's going to be all right. That's what I emphasize. That's what, that's what, uh, that's what we're trying to, that's what we got over everybody else. After seven years of slipping and dodging this sand-filled pendulum, Mike Tyson has become one of the most evasive fighters in boxing today. There you go. There you go. That's, That's a combination we haven't seen. When I'm on the heavy bag with Michael, I'm, I'm, I'm working on his form. I tell him, you're not moving enough, because you got to move at least three times. Certain punches. You throw a straight punch, you move three times. You throw a hook, you move twice. Most impressive is the power and quickness he's developed. This four-punch combination seems basic. For a heavyweight, four punches in under a second is incredible. Watch closely. There you go. There you go. Besides videotaping the punches that are thrown, Mike is instructed what to throw. Each type of punch has been assigned a number. With right hand, left hook, right hand. Now give me one, five, one. We use a number system where I call out, I call out the different numbers for the different punches. You know, 9, 10, 11. You know, body, body, head. When Kevin tells me the numbers are 4, 5, 6, I know exactly what they are. I don't even have to think. Such a system provides a quick and private means of communication. And it's not just training, the press must also be attended to. To break up his formatted training schedule, Tyson often passes time by shopping. Still, this doesn't ease the worry of the constant anticipation of fight night. 80% of the train is all emotional. I try not to think about the fights, but usually I always think about the fight in my mind. Um, when I'm in training, I would dream about the fight. And I always dreamed that I'd lose, and it was very scary. And I thought, oh my God, what am I going to do now? And it's funny, when you dream you lose, you wake up, and you wake up thinking that you lost. And it's scary. On a good night, the group may rent a video. But on this night, they choose to screen and analyze the day's workout. And in just nine hours, it'll be time to start all over again. My favorite part.